a heightened state of alert and a heavy security presence is out in force. An additional 7,000 soldiers have been deployed across France to respond to the increased security threat. There's a lot more police around uh, in the city, that's for sure. Um, and, yeah, it's a good thing, actually. It makes me feel a bit more comfortable. It's good, it's great, uh, because of, uh, I mean, we have the pickpockets, but also threats and etc. So, I mean, it's helpful to have more police around. President Emmanuel Macron has called for a ruthless response to extremists after the fatal stabbing of a teacher. France has raised its security alert to its highest level and a number of airports and tourist sites have received bomb threats in recent days. Roughly 15 million people visit the Palace of Versailles each year, but recent security threats forced it to evacuate those inside and close its doors to tourists on three separate occasions over a five-day period. And it temporarily closed again on Thursday and Friday, citing security concerns. Officials blame pranksters for the spate of fake threats. But security experts say such alerts need to be taken seriously. 99.9 .9 times it's just a stupidity. But you have the rest. You have the possibility that something is, is real. And especially in the climate today, we cannot uh, just say, OK, it's, it's nothing. French authorities say they have their eye on the ball during the ongoing Rugby World Cup and continue security preparations ahead of next year's Olympics. It is a big safety challenge. It's a great project for the Olympic Games, but it involves a major safety challenge. Experts say the threat lies from both domestic attackers and from groups coordinating strikes from abroad. The Paris Tourism Office estimates around 16 million people could visit the city next summer. Olympic organizers say safety is the top priority and that when it comes to security, they're at the top of their game. William Denslow, CGTN, Paris.